Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop and today let's talk about the awesome, versatile, waterproof and 100% free when you purchase a set of our saddlebags, Giant Loop Dry Pods. Another one of our most underrated products, in my opinion, is the saddlebag dry pods that come with every set of Great Basin saddlebags or Coyote saddlebags that we sell. These are self-contained, fully waterproof, roll-top dry bags. They have an air purge valve so that you can compress things down and then seal them up tight. And these are designed to fit down inside the legs and across the back of your horseshoe shaped saddle bag, whether that is the Coyote or the Great Basin that we sell. The obvious purpose of these is that because the horseshoe shaped bags are not 100% waterproof because it is possible for some water to get in at the seams in extreme circumstances, we include these dry pods so that you can put your gear inside them and know that no matter what happens, your gear will be 100% dry and safe. That's the primary purpose of these things, but they have so many other secondary purposes that I think people don't realize or don't take advantage of. And one of the big ones is the ability to just kind of pre-pack your gear and move it around, take it in and out of the bag quickly and easily without having to unpack the whole bag. It's sort of like packing cubes for your luggage when you go on vacation. So you can just put like, for instance, I just replaced my sleeping bag stuff sack with this dry pod, stuffed my quilt in here. That's gonna go right down to one of these legs. This one is sleeping pad, pillow, my jet boil, a bunch of other stuff that's kind of oddly shaped, but all kind of goes together and fits neatly down inside of it in this pod. These two go in the legs of the saddlebag. They're kind of pod shaped. And then we have the one longer one that actually has a double ended opening. And this is for the back of your bag. This is for your bigger, longer, bulkier, ideally more lightweight items. So in here right now, is a tent and a camp chair and a hatchet. So the more awkward, longer, more difficult to pack items I like to put in this double-ended dry bag. I can get to it from both ends and I can just pull this out of the top of my saddlebag when I need just this dry bag or I can just move all of this out of the way and then reach out and pull out one of these dry bags if I'm trying to get to something specific that's underneath it. It's pretty simple, I'll just show you. So um, once your bag is full, right, just fold it over and roll it three times. Clip the tops together. And you open the air purge valve and squeeze out all the extra air and you're saving as much space as possible inside that bag. So I've used this to compress a tent without the poles in it. Obviously I'm using it for my sleeping bag right here. And these are just great multi-purpose items for that, for packing on the bike and for other places where you just wanna keep a bunch of stuff dry and safe and out of the way. But let me show you how they work with the Great Basin bag here. So let's start with this one. I'm just gonna shove it in the left side. Down in the bag. You can tell it's all the way in when it's touching the bottom of the bag. There's not a bunch of space. Okay, this one's the more awkward shaped stuff like my jet boil and sleeping pad and all that. I'm just gonna put it down the right side. Bam, just like that, quick and easy as that. And then the longer one just goes across the back on the top of the bag. I'm gonna set it in there and I have a ton of room left over because I don't even have these dry pods totally filled up. Let me show you. Take a look inside the bag. You can see that my horizontal dry pod is right here across the top and then down inside the legs are the other two. Now one question we get a lot is, are they the same dry pods for the Coyote and the Great Basin? The answer to that is yes, they are. Why are they the same size? Well, one, it's just easier to manufacture more that way, but two, it gives you a little bit of extra space in the Great Basin, so they fit the Coyote perfectly. But with the Great Basin, you have a little bit of extra cushion on top to add loose items or items that you want to be have quick and easy access to, like this puffy jacket, which I can quickly and easily shove in the top and close this up, roll it up, it's good to go. If I need to get back in there, say we're stopping and I'm cold and I want to grab my jacket, it's right on top, I can pull it out. No muss, no fuss, super easy. Let's say I'm at my hotel room or my tent, my campsite, I wanna get my stuff out. I could pull out every single item individually if I didn't have the dry pods or if I wanna just get my stuff out and get to my hotel room as quickly as possible to get into a warm shower and a cold beer at the end of the day. I just reach in, pull out one bag, reach in, second bag, reach in the other side, third bag, and I'm good to walk into my hotel room or my tent or whatever, all my stuff's unpacked, literally that fast. 
These dry pods also make like a good pillow. Say you want to shove your jacket in it. If you forgot your pillow or whatever, they're great for that. They're waterproof both ways, so you can carry water in them. I like to put ice and beer inside them and use it as a makeshift cooler so I'm not getting ice melt inside my saddlebag. There's a ton of uses for these bags. I think a lot of people have them. They get them when they get the bag and they don't really think about what they're for or use them as often as they probably could. And so I just wanted to make this video to kind of explain the purpose, but also kind of walk you through some of the other sort of cool optional uses for those bags if you have them laying around already. If you've already purchased a Great Basin or a Coyote saddlebag, you can also buy these bags from us separately on the website. I'll link that for you in the description. Both the Coyote and the Great Basin come with a set of three, just like the ones I've just shown you. So if you have any questions about the Great Basin, the Coyote, the saddlebag dry pods that I've just shown you, please feel free to leave them in the comments or reach out to us via email. If you got questions about bike setups, what luggage is gonna fit, fitment questions, install questions, warranty questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us via email. We wanna make sure that you are 100% satisfied with all of your products, which is why we offer our lifetime guarantee. Also, don't forget that all orders over $75 from giantloopmoto.com ship for free. And make sure that you're subscribed to our monthly newsletter. There's a link right at the bottom of giantloopmoto.com, just a little form you fill out, type your email in, hit confirm, you're good to go. Because we are sending out exclusive promo codes every month with big sales, 20, 30% off, directly to newsletter subscribers, so you don't wanna miss out on those. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more gear overviews how to's and other great content and don't forget that all youtube subscribers save 10 percent on giantloopmoto.com with promo code subscriber thank you for watching go light go fast go far with giant loop